Welcome to Easy Worship 2009 tutorial brought to you by WorshipMediaPro.com. In this example, I'm going to show you how to use DVD clips inside of your Easy Worship schedule. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Media tab and I'm going to click on the Submenu DVD. Normally it sits over here on the left, so we're going to click on the Submenu DVD. Now it's completely blank here. We're going to do this from scratch. We're going to add a DVD clip. Now, generally, DVD clips are used for things such as mini movies that you might purchase from a, uh, a worship resource site that has a collection of mini movies. And they might have shipped it to you in a DVD format, basically to play inside of a DVD player. Uh, that's generally the format that it's being sent in. That's perfect because you can use the clip DVD clip import to save that particular mini movie out of the collection and just show that one, adding it to the schedule here. And uh, also it's good for maybe a segment or a clip inside of a motion picture where you just want to show you know, maybe three minutes of that particular movie uh, as part of a message that you have for that day. So those are two essential reasons why you want to use DVD clip. I would highly recommend to not use DVD clip for a motion background because of how uh, the playhead has to seek back to the beginning of a loop, looping file, and that would cause a skip and you would see the, the bumps in, uh, in your looping playback. So definitely don't recommend doing that. Now let's click on add to add our clip and what it's doing is, is it's actually searching a DVD that I have import or inserted into the PC right now. And what you'll notice here is these are motion clips. So I just made a mock-up DVD as an example here with five motion backgrounds. And again, don't do not use this for playing motion backgrounds. This is just as an example, you know, call this a mini movie, if you will. And I have five of them total. I have this set for continuous play, so I'm not looping a segment. I'm not looping one of my five uh, titles here. I'm just going to play through all of my titles. So we'll let this thing roll a little bit here and we're going to jump through the five different backgrounds. We'll actually get to number four and stop. So we'll let it, there's number three. And once it gets to four, I'm going to stop and I'm going to show you how to mark that particular background for playback in your schedule. So now it's going to jump to that one and I'm going to say pause. Now I want to be able to take a thumbnail of that so I know exactly it'll help me identify what this particular clip is. So I'm going to call this the blue clip DVD. So just to kind of remind me that it's from my DVD, I'm going to set my thumbnail. Now it's giving me a good visual of exactly this clip. And uh, now I'm going to actually say select segment. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, cheat here a little bit instead of doing a mark in and mark out. You want to use mark in and mark out if it's, a, if it's an actual motion picture, right? So if it's a motion picture and the scene is a 20 minute scene and you only want two minutes of that scene, then you want to go to the scene on your playhead here and then you want to hit mark in and then you want to advance to the end of your playhead, that segment that you would like, and you're going to click mark out. Once you're done with that, you're going to say OK and that will save it. In our case, we can kind of cheat a little bit because title four is exactly what we want. That's the entire background loop of this particular background. You also could do this for your mini movies so because your mini movies will come as a title. So it'll actually be its own title and you can say select segment. So now it is, is properly selected that segment for me and I'm going to say OK. Now I'm all done here. I got my segment selected. It's actually still uh, sourcing the DVD itself, um, but I can now insert this clip into my schedule. Now I have this in my schedule here and I can even advance this to, um, to start playing live. Now I don't have the dual proje projection here to do that uh, on this demonstration, but I can switch over here and then um, Oh, playing in live output. See, here we go. I can kind of show you maybe a little bit if I if I drop this down a tad bit. There you go. You'll see uh, that it's playing that DVD there. A little little messy because uh, I have this oversized based on my screen resolution for this this playback. But there there you have it. It's very straightforward. I have my clip that I have saved from my DVD to play during uh, my service on my schedule. Hopefully that was really informative, straightforward for you. Uh, please let me know with comments if there was something I missed or something else you'd like to, to know about DVDs, but it's very straightforward. Hopefully it felt, you felt the same way. God bless.